I'm Raz, and we are the international trainers of AIM Global Nigeria. And we are on our 8th episode of AIM Nigeria Talks. Welcome everyone, especially our viewers. All of us are aware of what is happening globally, especially here on our country, Niger. And that is why you don't have a choice but to stay at home to be safe. And that is why it's the best assistance we can do to our frontliners. Now, we are we are already here at home and staying at home. And it's also a way for us, you know, to have this long vacation we've all been waiting for. Yeah, but again, there's a but. What is this but? You can only stay at home. You cannot roam around. Okay, and because of this, we cannot help but be negative. Why? Because even if you check your FB, the YouTube sometimes, even your Insta, the only thing that you see are those problems that other people are experiencing while staying at home. So, you know, we cannot help but be affected as well. And that is why we have come up to this episode that we have today entitled How, How to Remain Positive and Productive While I'll Staying at Home. But before we share the tips that we created, my dear friends, let me inform you that all of the tips that we're going to share in this video came okay, from the idea of focusing on the things that you can do, such as the things you've been planning for a very long time. Yes. But you haven't materialized yet. But today, you can do all of those things that you've been planning before. So let's start with the number one tip. Number one tip that you can do to remain positive and productive while at home or while staying at home is watching TV programs, listening to radio, or watching inspirational, motivational videos that can help us, you know, add value to us and also, you know, learn something new and uh, while staying at home. You've heard my sister, right? You're going to watch TV, you're going to listen to radio, and check all of your social media accounts. Not for you to watch all of the negativity that is happening globally, but for you to look for something positive, very ins inspirational, very motivational, in order for you to learn more. Okay, so that when everything, you know, when all of this ends, my dear friend, you can use that, okay, for your own business, for you to earn big money, especially for the members of Alliance in Mission Global. Now, let's move on to the second tip, which is, okay, talking to the people inside of your Okay. So I did not told everyone, I'm not telling you to go outside and talk to a lot of people. I'm telling all of you to talk to the people inside of your house because this is your time to strengthen the bond inside okay, of the people inside of your house, my dear friends, to your relatives. Because believe it or not, I know there's a lot of people and there is a certain person inside of your house that you are not that close. Am I right, Keith? That's correct. And it's also one way that you'll be able to, you know, harness your communication skills and people skills as well hmm. and the people inside your house, which later on can also uh, help for you how you'll be able to relate to other people with regards also or in line also or connection hmm. with in global with your own business. Yes. Now, moving on for our number three tip, or the third one as our tip on how to remain positive and productive while staying at home is, you know, having to teach us how to be more creative inside the house. It's maximizing the resources that we have in the house. Yeah. Number one uh, thing that I have done, let me share with you on my own personal experience. I see a lot of life hacks and, you know, uh, tutorials on how to do it yourself, sanitizers and deodorizers. So what I did is I tried to, you know, find resources inside the house that I can make my own so that uh, without even leaving the house or without buying it from the outside, which yeah. is, as you can see now, it's not available. Yes, and even I, if you yeah. try to, you know, to buy outside, if you see one, mm -hmm. it's very expensive. expensive. Yeah, it's also one way to, to harness your creativity uh, in, while staying at home. Yes. At the same time, you can apply this creativeness to your own business. For example, one of the, or two of the leaders that I saw on social media that is being creative is Mr. Chikat and Mr. Patay, that even though they are at their own home, they're still doing the business. Okay? They're still doing the business by, you know, finding ways on how to communicate with their own leaders. Yeah. 
And that is also one way to keep the connection burning or instilling the burning inside of the leaders that you have, even though you're not seeing each other personally. Yes. Let's go to the fourth tip, which is doing some activities with your family. Okay. So, now this is your time to do some activities. When I say activities, I'm not, you know, I'm not telling you to go to the gym just for you to do exercise. I'm telling you to do some activities. Like, you know, just cleaning the house, such as doing some stretching together with your family. By doing that, my dear friends, you're able to hold your relationship or your bond with your family at the same time. You become healthy. It's like what we said here in AIM Global, we always implement that you not only become wealthy, but we want you to become healthy. healthy. Because again, health is well. Okay, that is the fourth one. Now, moving on to our fifth tip is using social media for what it is. Yes. So, using our social media, how do you use your social media accounts or personal social media accounts? Let's say, example, your FB account. How, what are the things you are posting every day? Is it for the help of the people or you're spreading hate? <laughs> Is it spreading love or spreading hate? Spreading positivity or negativity? So this is the best way to you know, reflect on the, the recent post that you have. If it's helping the people or it's you know trying to instill or to give people panic or fear. So in this way, using your social media accounts has its own power. Yes. Power of you know spreading hope instead, uh, instead of giving them panics and fear. So my dear friends, use wisely your your social media accounts because it's one way also to, you know give hope to people and also motivate and inspire them that despite the challenges that we are undergoing right now, especially now we are you know in the. In the current situation that we have around the world it's not only here in Nigeria but it's around the world it's one way for us also to give people you know hope that we were all going to surpass or overcome this challenge yes at the same time for all the members of a global this is your chance because even before you're not going to the office and doing your work most of us we are outside Okay, we are outside. Some of us are not even outside. We are just inside of our houses. And we're still earning money. This is your time to maximize the business that we are teaching you. Okay, that all of the leaders are promoting to each and every one of you. This is your time. Yeah, to teach a lot of people. Yeah. Speaking about the business, uh -huh. you know, a lot of people when we were still having our, you know, seminars recently, most of them, they're asking how they're going to do online marketing business. So, I think this is the best time that you'll be able to learn those skills that you haven't learned before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they say that ex do experience or in experience is the true learning. Yes. So, you know, my friends, it's also important that we make use of the social media, not only to give hope, but also, to, you know, to earn money at the same time yeah. while doing your business. Yes, that is one way of becoming productive. And for the last step, it gives us time to build relationship with God. Okay, so this is the most important one because a lot of things has been happening to us, positive, negative, my dear friends, all of those things that is happening to us, it gives us a lot of learning. And this is the time to reflect on what we have, you know, what we, what we have gotten thus far. Okay, do we get some positive things or good things in our life? If yes, thanks the one above because... Your achievements is not only because of your hard work. It's not only because of the people who is working together with you. But it's because of your faith from that one above. So, this is the time to give thanks to all of the support and the assistance that He has given to you. And my dear friends, this is the time that we have been waiting for. Because if before your problem is that you don't have time now, the one above has is given us the time that we needed. Am I right, Kate? That's correct. It's, it's the best time that to reflect on what has happened and what we can still do. And also our, a time to reflect of the things we are thankful for and what will we all be thankful for what is coming. So that's it. Those are the six steps that we prepared for each and every one of you. 
to be positive and productive while staying at home. Now, my dear friends, uh, before we end this, you know, this eighth episode, I want to inform everyone that all of the steps that we shared in this video, all of it came from our ideas. We did not get it from any reference. Am I right, Kate? That's correct. It's also the things that we do also while staying at home because all of us are also having this, um, you know, this event and uh, we also are trying to find ways how to remain positive and productive at the same time while we are at home. Yeah, just like what they said, whatever it is that you conceive, you will achieve, achieve it. it. So, if you're thinking negative, definitely what will happen to you is negative as well. So, why don't we think positive so that whatever it is that will happen to us, it will be positive. That's correct. And that is the end of today's episode. This is our 8th episode of AIM Nigeria Talks and we are very happy to be of help to everyone. I hope you have learned so much from us, especially from the tips we just ju we just have shared with all of you. So, yeah. so now my dear friends, if you have any idea or suggestion on how to be positive and productive while staying at home, don't be shy to comment below. We are going to read all of your comments and we're going to do a shout out on our next episode. Just like what we always do, in Nigeria Talks, be empowered, be mentored. See you! Bye-bye!